Hey, Shadek15 here. Welcome to the first episode of 2017 in my tutorial series about how to animate with sprites. Okay, so it's been a couple of m couple of months, literally. I've been in Japan, as you may know, and oh boy, it was so much fun, and I'd like to talk about it, but that's in another video. In this video, I will try to sort of um, remind you of what we learned last time in the in episode 6 which was all about motion tween and classic tween and I will try to use those techniques, those methods and try to show you how to animate something in a more complex way, use more complicated animation, create co complicated animations. Alright, let's start off. It's actually very easy, what we want to do in this video is try making Luigi jump over this lava and there's several ways to go about this first of all let's look at the timeline so we've got the the, the, the background the foreground here in, in this layer and Luigi is on, on this layer so now let's just say you're a beginner what would you do now I showed you how to use motion tween in the last episode so let's say you want to make Mario uh, Luigi not Mario Luigi jump over the lava so let's just uh, click on the first frame and let's go to another frame, let's say on fo frame 40 and let's just place him over there and there we go. Ma Luigi is Jesus Christ, he can just float over the lava like he doesn't give anything. So yeah, that's that's not how you do it, right? So what did I, so that's because the classic, because this is actually a classic tween. The classic tween actually just goes in one straight line, so it's doesn't re it's not really useful in this case. So let's take a different approach. I also showed you the other motion tween, the most mo create motion tween, and this one can allow you to not to create a a curved path. All right, let's Luigi on this keyframe, and then on this frame, Luigi is on the other side. It creates this line. Uh, forgive me, it's a little bit displaced. Let me just quickly correct that. Just take this white point, put it on Luigi. Alright, now let's create the motion tween. So let's put it back here. And you see, okay, now here is the path. He's straight. It's straight. So let's make it curved so it looks like he jumps. There we go. He jumps. But it doesn't really look convincing, right? Even if converted to frame to frame animation, it looks not very convincing, right? It looks a little bit weird. Okay, so there's we're gonna do it differently. How do we go about it? Let's see. So there are two things we can change. First of all, make the animation a little bit more, a little bit quicker because it was very slow, right? Okay, so let's redo the motion tween. Let's make it just a few, a bunch of frames less, so it should look smoother. There we go. Okay, it's faster. It's faster. It looks a little bit more realistic, right? But there's another thing we can do, and that has to do with the start and the end of the jump. So you see, he's ju he just jumps straight immediately. Doesn't make much sense, right? Because in real life, when you do a jump, you first go in a different position, like you're ducking, and then you jump, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ch we're gonna swap the sprite with a s different Luigi sprite in which he ducks, like duck. He goes in a um, how should I say it? It's, it's, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, so he goes into that position. So that's gonna be a bit difficult. So let's select. Uh, let's just say. Let's select four frames right before the jump. Right. The jump starts right here. I'm just gonna put a empty keyframe to mark the position in which he starts jumping. Ooh, there we go. And let's just select four frames just before that. Wait, those are three. One, two, three, four. All right. There we go. Oh, let me just select the first one of those four frames and let's replace or just or I should rather say swap the symbol with the Luigi ducking sprites which consists of two sprites actually this one and the other one I just went inside the symbol okay so let's make him all right you're gonna make sure you click on single frame otherwise it will loop and that's not something we want and okay let's just put him let's have him this Let's have him have this position on this frame. Then he goes into an even lower position. That's the second one. And then he goes back to a more higher position. Like this. So it looks a bit more natural. Okay, okay, this looks a bit better. A little bit. Maybe let's just add one more frame here. Alright. There we go. Now it looks a little bit more convincing. Alright. 
Let's do the same thing we have to do at the end. So we go here, we insert one keyframe, uh, and then I suggest you add another keyframe much later. You're gonna swap the symbol with the ducking one. All right, there we go. Next keyframe, I will make him, there we go. Make him go to a lower position. Make sure you select single frame. This one too. Then he goes up again. And there we go. He jumps, he lands, he jumps, he lands. Looks much better than before, right? Nah, it still looks a little bit stiff, so let's make it a little bit more, a little bit smoother. And then let's try to add a few more frames, like a few different poses. And to do that, we wanna, we wanna, I'm going to show you something that I discovered recently, and that is like have a motion train inside of a motion train. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I'm just gonna delete all these frames here. Just everything that's in between. We're gonna use the same space. And the very first step is, oh, actually I made a mistake, sorry for that. So I'm actually gonna delete this space, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna select the first frame and I'm gonna convert it into a symbol, all right? So this is already a symbol, but I'm going to convert it into another symbol. Let's just say Luigi jumping, all right? Make sure it's a graphic, I think that's easier. All right, now you gotta go inside that new symbol. You're gonna find, again, the Luigi sprite, and here's what you're going to do. You're going to create a motion tween. First of all, and insert a blank frame, and then go here and then create a motion tween. And, oh, let me just go back for a minute now. Uh, actually, I need to calculate how much, what the space is. Just a minute. Okay, the, these, from here till here, it's 23 frames. Okay, so let's go inside, so we're gonna need 23 frames. Let me just check here. Oh, I'm gonna delete this tween, remove it. So 23. There we go. So right around the middle, you want to place an ins in a, a a blank keyframe. You're gonna add the motion tween, and you're gonna place Luigi right around here. You're gonna go to the motion tween, and you're gonna add an ease that is 100%, 100% out. So he goes, he goes, he jumps quickly up. And then we're gonna do another motion tween, which goes the other way back. It's gonna fall down again and land on the ground. There we go. And in this case, you're gonna do minus 100 is in. So that it looks like a jump. Like he goes up, but he slows down and then he comes back down again. So it looks more natural, all right? Only two more steps remaining. So you're going, go, you're going back to the scene and you're gonna see on your graphic, you click on it and then you will select play once, just to make sure. And then you will see he will jump and fall down. So what we need to do now, since this is a graphic, we can move it again. So you're going to, uh, let me just quickly analyze. So you're going to create a keyframe right around here. You're going to place Luigi on the other side. Make sure that it aligns with the next frame, which is Luigi ducking, landing, so uh, that looks about right. And you're just going to create a classic tween. And now Luigi jumps, but the jump is much more natural, not like before. You see, he jumps, he, he, he ac accelerates in the beginning, slows down, and then he accelerates again when landing. So this is a much more natural jump. But there's still something we need to do. The last step is a little bit time consuming. So I will actually speed up uh, during that, but let, just to show you, you go inside the, the graphic. So you, it's a graphic inside a graphic, so it's a bit complicated. Anyway, so you see we created a frame, like frame by frame animation inside using motion tween. So what we can do now is we can select each frame, select the graphic and then change which pose it has. Like just go inside the graphic, you can see that, oh, actually I made a mistake. Okay, I just made a little mistake, uh, instead of having, I should have done this, I should have actually used a different sprite than this one, because this one doesn't have, inside of this sprite, there's just one image, just this one, right? So, instead of that, I should have used the Luigi jump sprite, which has several poses, which I needed for the jump. So, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more step, I will actually swap 
this symbol with the other one. And then inside, of, then I have this sprite. So um, after that, I will just select a different frame. I think it's number two. Yeah, this is number. So what we're going to do now, each frame, I will first of all swap the symbol, which is something you shouldn't do. Uh, which is something you shouldn't do if you actually use the correct sprite anyway. But what you need to do is change the uh, which sprite, which frame it is. And depending on the frame, you have a different pose. And actually, let's just speed up the time and you will see what I mean. Here we go. And there we go. I'm sorry for my rambling. I'm it's it's actually quite late, but I'm I hope you understand. If you have don't, if you don't understand, then just leave a question in the comment section. All right. So what I've done, I've replaced. All right. Just to recap, I've um, actually used different poses during the jump, so it looks even more natural. So you will see if I if I preview the animation, it looks much better right now. There we go. This is a jump that looks much more natural and the way it should be and if we go back to the scene and play the whole thing you will see that Luigi is going to jump in a more natural way there we go this looks much better and this is how I this is how what I dis discovered recently using combining actually different kinds of tweens to m create a more fluid fluid animation like a jump in this case and I hope this was helpful and I don't even know what the next episode is going to be about. If you have questions, just leave in the comment section and I will try to answer them. Or just ask me on my Facebook page or even Twitter if you want. And until the next episode, have fun, take care and ciao.